Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode we're going to be solving a Physics 7b Momentum Practice problem, the star-crossed asteroids. So as usual, if you're finding this content helpful, leave a like and subscribe, it helps this channel a lot. So let's go ahead and get started. Feel free to pause the video in order to copy the problem on your notes, this is kind of a long one. So the problem goes as follows. So we have three asteroids floating in deep space and they collide and they stick together and they form a new asteroid, as shown in the figure. Before the collision, uh, asteroid Edward has a mass of 2000 and it's traveling in the x direction, asteroid Jacob has a mass of 5000 and he's traveling at a speed in the opposite direction. The initial um, velocity and mass of Bella are unknown and after the collision, once all of them are stuck together, this new asteroid has a total mass of 8,000 kilograms and travels with a speed of 50 meters per second in the y direction. Because this collision um, happened in space, you may assume there are no external forces acting on the asteroids. So what we have to do is a fill, a, fill out a complete momentum chart for this problem and then figure out what are the um, x and y components of asteroids Bella initial momentum vector and then figure out what the initial speed of asteroid Bella is. So as you can see I've written all of the relevant information here in my notes. So I have the before the collision and the after collision pictures. So before the collision we have three separate asteroids, Edward, Jacob and Bella, and after the collision all of them come together and they just they just uh, fuse together and we have this new asteroid with a total mass of 8,000 kilograms. We know the initial conditions for Edward and Jacob because we have their mass and the velocity. And for Bella, we were not given um, any sort of information. However, uh, we can figure out what the mass of Bella is because we're giving the masses of uh, Edward and Jacob. And we know that the total mass has to be um, 8,000. So because um, these three have to add up, we can just figure out from this information that Bella has a total mass of 1,000 kilograms. So let's just go ahead and write that down. And there we go. So 1,000. So 5, 6, 7, 8, and they add up. We don't know the, the initial velocity of Bella though, so we can't really work with that. Okay, so at this point we have everything that we need in order to start our problem. So let's just go ahead and figure out what we can fill in over here. So I'm just going to start by um, multiplying um, some masses and velocities in order to start getting some information put here. So let's just... Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do actually is separate the velocities into x and y components. So the initial velocity of Edward in x and y components that is just going to be positive 100, 0. The initial velocity of Jacob in x and y components is going to be a negative 100, 0. And the, all of them are going to have the exact same final velocity because all of them are moving together. So the final velocity for all of them in x and y components is going to be 0. And 50. Now, of course, all of them are meters per second. So now that I have that, because I really like separating everything into x and y component, it makes everything so much easier. Is uh, let's just go ahead and start multiplying things together. So Edward's initial momentum is mass of Edward, initial velocity of Edward. So that is equal to uh, 2,000 times uh, 100, 0. So this is going to be equal to 2,000 times 100. So that is equal to 200,000 nothing on y. Jacob's initial momentum is going to be his mass, mass of Jacob, initial velocity of Jacob. So that is going to be Jacob is 5,000. It's a chunky asteroid times negative 100, zero. 
So this is going to be 5,000 times 100, negative 500,000, nothing on the y-axis because you're multiplying times zero. So now their final momentum is just going to be their mass times their final velocity. So final momentum for Edward is going to be mass of Edward, be final Edward. So this is going to be um, 2,000, Edward was 2,000 times, shouldn't be using commas, um, final velocity 0, 50. So 2,000 times 50 is equal to uh, 100,000. So 0 on the x-axis, 100,000. P final for Jacob is mass of Jacob, velocity final Jacob. So Jacob is 5,000 times 0, 50. So this is 0 and 50 times 5,000 is equal to 250000. Zero, 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 zero. There we go. We can also get the final velocity of the girl asteroid, the Bell asteroid. And that would just be mass of Bella, B final. Bella, Bella was 1000 kilograms, 0, 50. So 1000 times 50 is equal to uh, 50,000. There we go. So let's just go ahead and put these numbers over here. I think that in order to keep everything easy, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this times um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, so like this. So for Edward, I'm gonna have, um, you know, one, two, three, four, so this is 20, zero. For Jacob, I'm gonna have negative 50, zero. Bella, I don't have a clue. And then final Jacob, uh, final Edward, I'm sorry, is gonna be one, two, three, four, so this is zero. Then for Jacob, this is gonna be zero, one, two, three, four, 25. For Bella, this is gonna be zero, one, two, three, four, five over here. So again, this is all times 10 to the four. I just don't wanna fill it, this in with zeros because I'm writing with a Sharpie and it would get very confusing. Um, so this is 20 to the right. This is 50 to the left. And then this is 25 going up, then going up and then just a very small one going up like this. Now everything on a momentum chart needs to add up. So at this point I can get this P final. So let's just go ahead and do that. Zero plus zero plus zero is gonna be equal to zero on the x-axis. Now um, let's just go ahead. 10 plus 25 plus five is equal to 40 like this. So this is gonna be a big arrow going up like this. Now, um, we know that this is a zero because the problem is very explicit. We are in space and we don't have any external forces. So this is just zero. And if this plus this has to be equal to 0, 040, then this has to be the exact same big arrow over here. Zero and 40. Now, uh, this column has to add up. So because this column has to add up, we have zero plus zero plus what is equal to 40? Well, that is 40 over here on the y-axis. 20 um, plus negative 50 plus what is equal to zero? Well, that is just gonna be equal to positive 30. There we go. So Bella has some initial momentum like this. Now this is gonna be useful in order to find her initial, well, we already found her, her initial momentum. Uh, it's gonna be useful in order to find her speed, but let's just hold that for a second because question one was to complete the momentum chart. So I would like to just go ahead and do that. All of the rows have to add up because delta is equal to final minus initial. 
So let's just go ahead and do that. This row has to add up. So 20 plus what is equal to zero? Well, that would be negative 20. Zero plus what is equal to 10? That would be 10. Minus 50 plus what is equal to zero? That would be 50. Zero plus what is equal to 25? Well, that would be 25. 30 plus what is equal to zero? That would be 30. Uh, no, 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 uh, that would be negative 30. 40 plus what is equal to five? Well, that would be negative 35. So let's just, and then these have to add up. So 10 plus 25 minus 35 is equal to zero. So that's right. Minus 20 uh, plus 15 minus 30 is equal to zero. That's right. Okay. So let's just go ahead and draw this arrow. So this is positive, positive, and this is negative, negative. So this is just some arrow going down like this. So at this point the momentum chart is complete. I didn't care too much about making this very accurate because at the end of the day if you have your x and your y coordinates and they add up your th is just gonna know that this is that this is correct. This is just meant to be a visual aid. So now this part is complete. So now we have to figure out Bella's initial momentum. So obviously we've already done that so let's just go ahead and um, write that. So initial for Bella is, uh, I decided to, mo well, her initial over here, oh, it's equal to plus 20. And then I added for zero, so it's one, two, three, four. And then 40, and I added four zero, so that is one, two, three, four. There we go. So it's, 300,000 and 400,000 and then and final answers always need to have your units so this is the final answer for part b and now for part c they are asking us to figure out bella's speed now speed means the magnitude of the velocity vector so what we have to do is first of all find the velocity vector second of all use pythagoras theorem in order to figure out what the speed is so in order to find her um, velocity, we just use the fact that momentum is equal to mass times velocity. So her initial momentum is equal to her mass times her initial velocity. So if I solve for B initial Bella, that is just her initial momentum divided by her mass. So her initial momentum is 300 Zero, zero, zero. Her mass is 1,000. This would be the x-axis and the y-axis is 4, zero, 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 divided by 1,000. So her initial velocity x-y components are, um, so just chunk three zeros, 300 and uh, chunk three zeros, 400 meters per second. Now in order to get our actual um, magnitude we just use Pythagoras theorem. So let's just go ahead and do that. So this is 300 squared plus uh, 400 squared and then give me the square root of that. So that is going to be 500 meters per second final answer. Again, the problem was asking us for the speed, not for the velocity. So that implies that we need to actually use Pythagoras in order to get the speed. Well, this basically solves this quiz. So I hope this was very useful to you. If it was, again, hit the like button. It's the only way that we have to figure out if these videos are useful for you guys. Um, so anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.